Flashlight. Where is that coming from anyway? Three lights. I have to hold two. Very embarrassing. No money. Can you tell this is no money? Talk to this too big. I have no shoes. Does it look all right? Flashlight. Bow tie. This is not called stand up flashlight. Now, Pop. Gee, come back. Why am I here? Watch for my eyes. Ow. Spotlight. I am your host, Barbara Eden. <laughs> uh, first comedian tonight, a very funny man, has his own show. He does in uh, WOR TV, Steam Pipe Alley. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mario Cantone. <laughs> well, thank you. You're, thank you so much. Thank you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ. The power of Christ. I feel so Catholic tonight. I don't know what it is. I'm Catholic. Why is it like at Catholic funerals, they always have incense swinging over a coffin? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like... The kid's gonna jump up and go, Mmm, Jasmine nutmeg. And I'm Sicilian, so these funerals just run in my family. I don't know what it is. It's the Sicilian thing, and it's gonna stop. I, um, ever go to an Italian wake? The women at Italian wakes are like, He's dead! Why? Oh, my God! It's gonna be me! It's gonna be me! You son of a bitch! Oh, God, he's dead! Oh, he's dead! Oh, hold me up! Hold me up! Oh, he died so young! Why? 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 He looks good, though. God, I, have to be, I haven't been to church in, like, so long. It's been, it's been a while. The priests mumble, though. Aren't they so quiet? I like a preacher that's like, you know, a preacher. Like, you know, Jimmy Swaggart, that type of thing. Even though he's like the lustful, slime, hypocritical, pig, judgmental fool of the world. Ugh. You know how I knew this guy was a slime bucket? I said, he is a pig from the word go because Jimmy Swaggart. He talks just like this. <laughs> and he walks just like this. <laughs> and you know, Jimmy got his legs spread wide open. <laughs> and I want to talk to you about her. I want to talk to you about her. I want to talk to you about her. Pornography. Levels to pornography, people. No levels at all. <laughs> you see, Hustler magazine is no worse than Penthouse magazine. And I know that you read it. I know that you do. <laughs> and Penthouse magazine is no worse. It is no worse than Seventeen magazine. <laughs> it's all filthy smut. It is all. in a motel room going, I just want to watch you spank your fanny. Yes, talk nasty to me. Pull her hair, knit a quilt. And I want to talk to you about the music the children are listening to today. Music. Evil, evil, evil music. ACDC. Twisted Sister. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie is evil. He's evil. Can't you see he's evil? Lionel Richie won't be dancing on the ceiling for long. No, silly people. No, he won't. He'll be dancing on the stalactite of hell. And I just want to watch you spank your fanny one more time. Yeah, that's it. Talk nasty to me. Pull her hair. Knit a quilt. Wait, this is the best part. This is my favorite part of that whole thing. This is the best.
and my lovely wife, Francis. <laughs> I have sinned against you. Will you forgive me? It just once, none of this would have ever happened. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, y'all drinking? Y'all having the evil of liquor? The evil of Yeah, I'm, I can't drink. I drink water. I can't drink anymore. You know, I, I can't even go to a party anymore because you know what happens to me? I can't, I can't, I don't like that feeling of being drunk. And then I'm the only sober one there. I'm sitting in the corner. I always end up someone coming at me just like this. Never fails. Every party, someone comes at me. Give me the keys, I can drive. <laughs> Come on, Tony, give me the keys, I can drive. Come on, give me the keys. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you, man. You're my best friend in the whole world for the day. I love you, I love you so much. I don't know what I love him. I love this guy. He taught me everything I know. I love you. I love you, man, I love you. <laughs> okay, give me the keys, I can drive. <laughs> Come on, Tony, give me the keys. I can drive. I can drive. Look at me. I'm fully commanding. You're just sitting there looking at me. You don't trust me. That's the whole thing. You know what it is, man? You don't trust me. You never trusted me. You hate my guts. No, I know you hate me. I hate you, too, you moron. You son of a bitch. I hate you. You screw my girlfriend, too. I know it. Don't talk to me anymore. Don't talk to me. I hate you. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I don't want to be... That's why I don't drink. Thanks so much. You're terrific. Have a good night. very big these days. I noticed that lately. It's like a trend with, you know. Did I say girls? Did I say girls? I'm sorry. It's 1989. We're not girls. We're men is what we are. <laughs> That's right. We have to act like a man if they think you're stupid. I have a car. I have a Toyota. I bring this car in to get fixed. These guys see a woman drive in there. They're putting a new wing on their house. <laughs> you know, I walk in there. I say, yo, Tony, my carburetor's spitting up like a... This is how you have to talk to them, you know? Busting my chops like my lesbian lover over here. Forget about it. <laughs> then they pay attention. Or else they call you a fellow This is another trend I've noticed. <laughs> well, George Bush, are you a Bushman, sir? <laughs> Did you vote for Bush? I'm scared of him, aren't you? I find him scary. He's like a perverted deli man. Doesn't he look like a... Scaring. Do you like quail? I think he's, if he lives in a village, he would be the idiot. Okay, I mean, <laughs> this guy's stupid. Not that Dukakis was any better, the truth. And really, he wasn't that good, you know? I don't know, I thought he was moronic also. But uh, and th now we find out the wife was drunk the whole time. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> you know, he was coming home every night. You know you're boring. <laughs> and you got a big head, okay? <laughs> Some woman in Massachusetts said, you know, in, the, in, in Massachusetts, we call him the Duke. I said, well, in New York, we call him the cocky, okay? <laughs> uh, 
what else? I just came back from Munich. I actually was in Munich. Now, for an Italian woman to be traveling is really an incredible deed. You know this. There's Italian people here, right? You know. These are not the Vikings we're discussing. Italians do not travel. Okay, Marco Polo took a trip one time. I saw it in a miniseries. That's how I know. Anne Bancroft, she was playing his dying mother. She's on the bed. He Marco, go to China. Bring me a hot and sour. Did you see that? It was brilliant. But these are not like big travelers, the Italians. So, you know, so I went to Munich and it was like, it's really weird that you can't say like Nazi, Hitler, or Jew. These words are verboten there. You just can't say it. You feel a certain vibe that you can't say it. So naturally, I wanted to run through the hotel. Nazi, 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 Nazi! You know, this is where I was at the whole week. It was sickening. And I'm watching Marlon Brando and On the Waterfront in German, you know, Charlie, Charlie, Ich bin ein Berliner. It was really, you know. So, um, anyway, that was Munich. Where else? I was in California last week, which I loathe. I hate California. There's one good thing about California you have to know. You have to stop for pedestrians in California. Did you know this? It's not like uh, New Jersey, where every, every, uh, every car is named Christine, you know. <laughs> in California, you have to stop for the pedestrians, but they don't tell this to you at the airport. So I get in the car, I go on La Cienega Boulevard, I go zoom right past this pedestrian. This guy yells out, bitch. I turned around and said, you know, I wonder if there's someone here who knows me. <laughs> and they're all skinny there also. I'd just like to share that with you. Extremely skinny. I mean, everyone is working out in L.A. Everyone. The homeless are working out there, okay? They pick the boxes up. They put the boxes down. It's unbelievable. We're under a lot of pressure, the women, to look thin. Don't you feel this? Do you ever see, the, do you ever see this commercial with Heather Locklear? My favorite commercial. She comes out in this little string bikini and she goes, are you ready for the competition? I'll smack her. <laughs> it's like, go do something with your life. Go teach the handicapped, okay? <laughs> Save the whales. Get off my back, all right? I hate her. I also hate Cher now. I used to like Cher. But, you know, they all have the plastic surgery. Don't listen to this, that she lifts weights and all this other crap. They are getting nipped and tucked, these girls, all right? Now I found out that Christy, what's her name? Uh, Stevie Nicks had the fat sucked out of her thighs. Ugh. She should have had the snot sucked out of her nose. But anyway, she <laughs> And Barbara Hershey had the fat put into her lips. What are they, like, redistributing the fat around Hollywood? <laughs> These actors think they're kissing Barbara Hershey. They're kissing Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Uh, I joined the health club. I, did. I haven't gone, <laughs> but I joined. Why must I go? I gave them $500. Let them go. This is how I see it. Once you have a baby, that's the end of the body. How many of you women had babies? Yes, okay, you know what I'm talking about. How many have you got? Five? Did you breastfeed these five? Good, because you'd be on the floor. <laughs> Forget about it. Did you do natural childbirth? No, not even that. Boy, what a mother, huh? I did natural childbirth. I mean, uh, no eye makeup, no lipstick, yeah. Sometimes you have to take a risk, okay? <laughs> Just a little blush and that was it for moi. I also breastfed for a, for a couple of, uh, about five months, which is not bad. I saw this actress, Karen Black, on television. You know that one with the crossed eyes? Can't she get those fixed now? Her in that Columbo with the crossed eyes, it's not attractive. But um, she was on a talk show and she said that she nursed her son for five years. Does the word wean mean anything to you, Karen? <laughs> this kid is ready to take the SATs. <laughs> but then the body just goes, you know, it just, it just goes, it just goes. Cher had plenty of surgery. She's losing her mind, isn't she? Do you notice that? <laughs> Once they get the perfume, they start to get demented. I notice there's a trend. She used to be all right, but now she's nutty. So she's got a commercial. She goes, I call my perfume uninhibited because there are so many different people in me. Yeah, and they're all under 18. <laughs> Thank you, Cher. Thank you very much. Good night.